No, 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 Brad, help me out, help me out, help me out, help me out. Brad fucking shot me, you silly gun, fuck. It's too late now, I remember everything. And how careless we could be. Yo, what's going on everyone, Wolf here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're back on an Xbox 360 and PS3 Classic, Dead Rising 1. I want to start off by saying today's video is a bit longer than usual, as it also contains the bloopers and best moments from the overtime mode, as well where you get more story and extra final boss battle to do, so it was only right to include it. It's been a lot of fun going back to such an old game and reliving the nostalgia I had when I played this back as a kid in 2006 when Dead Rising 1 first released on the Xbox 360 and PS3. It's crazy that Dead Rising 1 is where it all started for the Dead Rising series, and it only got better from here. Although it's been a lot of fun, the AI survivors in Dead Rising 1 are still just as broken as I remember. Many times did I have to run back for a survivor because they chose to run into the zombies instead of following me through the zombies I purposely cleared out. Or the countless times the survivors didn't want to climb the ledge just outside the safe house entrance, so I had to just stand there and wait for them to climb up as they were just outside the teleport radius. The funniest I saw was the survivor who had a gun and instead of shooting the zombies he just stood there smacking the zombies with the gun instead. But apart from the broken AI, Dead Rising 1 is still a really good game to sit down and play 17 years on from its initial release. And I highly recommend sitting down and replaying Dead Rising 1 if you still have a copy or if you haven't played it before definitely pick up a cheap copy and play it as you won't regret it as Dead Rising 1 has a good storyline, boss battles and a lot of zombies to dispose of how you choose. One last thing we get before we get into the bloopers and best moments. If you do enjoy today's video, be sure to hit the like button. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all future content. And without further ado, let's go right into the Dead Rising 1 bloopers and best moments. something about research for a story that's right got a tip that something big's happening in a nowhere little town like that they sure didn't mention anything about it on tv yeah well i'm freelance pal i don't make my living waiting for the tv to tell me what to cover <laughs> Taking the helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. top of that mall you gotta be kidding me uh, man you are nuts all right listen don't forget to come back for me as long as you're not dead Fred it's Frank Frank West remember that name because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. Get 
Get us back down to that rooftop. Reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, you came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well, If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. If this woman hadn't been so worried about her dog in a zombie apocalypse, they would have been somewhat safe, you know? Like, you'll see in a minute, but just if she'd not worried about the dog, they would have been alright for a bit. Hey, this is no time to over pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On the way. Come on, pronto. What you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the? To be fair, how did two men not stop a fragile old lady from opening the door to let her fucking dog in? <laughs>
I was fully expecting a zombie to be in there, to be fair. Oh, it's going to be a boss battle, and I've rolled him with no food. Fuck, man. to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Oh, you motherfucker! Have it! Got you can ride a bike on fucking Dead Rising One. This is so cool. Oh, don't tell me the psychos are out. Fuck, man, I've got two survivors on me. Shit, I'm not equipped for this. Fuck, man. Ah, fuck. No, my survivors. Hey, yo, that was looking a bit sus. Oh, shit, this is not good. My teddy bear face is like, ah, fuck.
Get off me, lad. Hang on, just fell out of the trash. Just casual, you know. Oh, there's no fucking way. No, you're fucking kidding me. Again. Every time I fucking get back there. Oh, you little fucker. Fucker, fucker. No, 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 Brad, help me out, help me out, help me out, help me out. Brad fucking shot me, you silly gun. Fuck. Someone's been hurt. I need medicine. Hurt? That's just what this bitch said when she came to vandalize my store. I don't take kindly to vandalism. I won't allow it. Listen to me. And listen good, partner. I don't allow Fuck it out, lad. Calm down. This motherfucker. He's fucking just sending me over the shelves. Looks like it's my store now, ain't it, motherfucker? How'd you feel? Have a nice day. Clean up! Register six! Was there any need for that, lad?
one tough cookie. Can you stand? Look, I, uh, I saw you at the entrance yesterday. To be fair, if you wake up from a head trauma and the first thing you see is a bear with a fucking pink dress suit on, then I'd probably have the same reaction as well, to be fair. Fucking scared shitless. Oh fuck, I walked into another boss battle and I shit. Name and rank, soldier. You can't tell me. Because you're Viet Cong. I'm right. Aren't I? You are nothing but a filthy communist. Oh, I really do want to get myself into a fucking boss battle right now. Oh, for fuck's sake, my brother, I've only just spawned. Gotcha. lost it everything went white suddenly the war it wasn't over not for me Fucking hell, that was rapid compared to my first time. So sorry, I've opened the door and sent him flying. Oh, it's just the fucking cult people. Fuck's sake. Oh, it is as well, man. Fuck. Unbeliever in our midst. Oh, 
I'm stuck, no! Oh! Fucking hell! Have that, lads. What have we here? Looks like you lured another man in here, you little whore. No, I didn't. Uh, please, help me. Let's see just how shameless you are, you dirty little skank. Say hello to my little friend. Get up, get up, get up. There you go, calm. Job done. Easy peasy. What are you running away for? Go on, come back. Motherfucker. Those who reject salvation embrace ignorance. Return your tainted blood to the foul earth that has spawned you. It's harder to get through his minions than it is to fucking kill him. That's the worst part about this fucker. Well, he got an eye full of that, didn't he? Yeah. Now it's a struggle of getting out of it because they were going to block the fucking doorways off. And I'm trying not to get knocked out by their smoke thingy because you lose all your items. <laughs> Unlucky. Come on in, big man. Ah, you little fuckers run away. 
I ideally need him to stay there, I could have finished him straight off. Stop running, mate. Fuck out of here. Oh, what? You lucky little shit. Go on, zombie one tap him or something. It's going to run out of energy sooner or later. There we go, have it. Nice kick to the face. You can actually save him if you've got a fire extinguisher, but we're not going to. We're going to take a photo of him. Fantastic. We're going to laugh at him. And then just leave him there. Because why not, innit? <laughs> He's on like 1 HP. Unlucky, lad. Okay now. This ain't who's supposed to be in the gun store. There's supposed to be a boss battle in here, not this. Any reason why we've just left the zombie's body still just here to decay, you know? Surely that's not hygienic or safe for the rest of the survivors. Could have at least locked him in this room. Not every day you see a teddy bear rolling a crate thing, a shopping trolley out with bombs in it, for fuck's sake. We got rid of your bomb. This is as far as you go today. Just give up and surrender. Bro's been playing too much Max Payne 3 by the looks of it.
Brad? Don't get any closer. Stay away, Frank. Don't get near me. What's the matter, Brad? Are you hurt? I'm coming over there, Brad. We'll go back together. If you're hurt, we'll patch you up. I'm already dead. Frank. Don't tell Jesse about this. Brad. Well, I think he's gone. Let's get the photo because I'm pretty sure there's a trophy. Sorry about this, Brad. There you go. Snuff shot me. That's taking a photo of Brad as a zombie. Wait, I didn't know they could walk about outside of here. What the fuck? I think she's got herself stuck in a loop. What? Are you nuts? No way. Are you nuts? Wait, put that arm back down. Take a look at this. The guy being dragged? I think it's Carlito. You could be right. Where is this? The basement of the North Plaza. Right in front of the butcher shop. <laughs> that guy over there, I, I mean, uh, that meat, um... <sighs> oh, this is good meat, huh? I just got it in here. It's fresh. <laughs> you just wait right there, sir. In a moment, you can try the best ground meat you've ever tasted. <laughs> Whoa, ground? Wait a minute, listen. I had something else in mind. Zombies are no good. I can't serve my customers boiled meat like that. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Trust me. I'm a butcher. <laughs> I've got the best meat in town.
Right, let's do this. From every video I watch, it's apparently one of the hardest boss battles, but we'll see. I've got no food items, which ain't good. Oh, sorry, Carly. Oh, I've just fucking shot Carly. Oh, well. I'm gonna have to whack him. There you go. Sweet. Calm. Let's fucking do this. It's over. What about Isabella? <coughs> She's on our side now. She's checking out your computer right now. My purpose in life has been to get revenge for what you people did to Santa Cabeza. Your need so much more important to you than human life. Why? Why did my people have to die to feed your fat bellies? That doesn't excuse what you've done. But I promise, the Santa Cabeza story will be told. But I need the password. Just like you good, red, white, and blue Americans. <coughs> it's not over. Not yet. Speak! Speak, damn it! What do you mean it's not over? And to think one of the first people you meet at the start of the game is actually Carlito as well. It's mad, isn't it? Shit. Jessica McCartney? Talk about your close calls. You contacted us just in time. Your boss thought we should have a talk with you before the operation begins. We'll be taking you into custody. If you sign an agreement to keep your mouth shut about all this, you'll be free to go. Oh shit, she turned into a zombie, ain't she? I forgot about that. 
fucking hell. Oh shit, it's all getting real now. Need to get a photo for the trophy. Thank you. Jesse, sorry about this. We can't let you roll around and eat the survivors. Saying that where are our survivors? I think they've all been taken, for fuck's sake. The army have cleaned us out. We've been let down, haven't we? All right, ain't coming to fucking pick us up. I'll be damned. He's still alive. That son of a bitch made it. That must mean he got his scoop. I can't wait to get my share of the take. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! It's not going to go to plan though, is it? We know this for a fact. How did this, I wonder how the zombie even got on board, unless it was on the roof he was camping out on to see if Frank made it to the helipad. That's just so unlucky, isn't it? Like, he survives all that and then his chopper guy gets fucking done in by a random zombie. Looks like we're going to have to go find the last boss then, isn't it? Because I know that's coming. As well as them zombies behind us, which don't look too promising, for fuck's sake. Yeah, we need to go take on the big boss now. The one that sits on the tank and makes you fight with no weapons. That should be fun. What a goat, she just saved her life, thank fuck for that. Alright, let's go, that's that bit done. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control.
All right, now this is the bit I'm going to struggle on because it, it's hand-to-hand -hand combat with him and he's quite OP. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government our and its inhuman have research? Not begun with this operation. Go on. Right, let's have this fight then. Yeah. Fuck's sake, get off me, lad. Yes, we done it. Yes, fake fuck. Right then, perfect response to give after all that shit we've just been through to be honest. I believe this is the end game, this has been a lot of fun. We've already done Dead Rising 2 because I've done that co-op with my brother. So now we've done Dead Rising 1 it'll probably be Dead Rising 3 because I've done Dead Rising 4 before. But I will, I will obviously link the playlist at the end of this video so you can all see it. I think this is the end game. If there is an extra cutscene, I'll let it play. I don't no, I think that's it. I think we're done. Calm, look at that. All that stuff as well for when you do like new game plus. It's brilliant. Right, here you go, here's a little 
bit of extra thingy I was talking about. Wait, what was with that little bit at the end about his belly not being full? No, I've got to save game. But yeah, that's mad. 